Hey team, I wanted to show you a real quick way on how to set office hours. That way you do not have to worry about going through calendar, even going through Outlook. Um, it's super easy. They uh, have streamlined it and made it really, really easy. So I'm just gonna jump right in. So um, the first thing I would do is recommend posting something like this to your stream in your Google Classroom, okay? And First things first, what I would do first before you do anything is you want to go to your settings. Hold on, let me make sure everyone saw that. I'm gonna to go to settings over here in the top right hand corner, that cog, and where it says general, stream only teachers can post or comment, and then the big one, high notifications, okay? That way, this Google Meet um, link will be the first thing at the top, okay? And I apologize if I'm looking over here, I've got another monitor over here, okay? So the first thing I posted on here is hello, I will be hosting office hours on Mondays and Wednesdays from 10, 11, and then Tuesdays from two to three. I like to have some in the morning, some in the afternoon. My personal office hours are a little bit longer than that. I just don't know what um, you have the availability to do, okay? So I'm gonna edit it. And what I wanna do here is you want to add, you wanna post when you're gonna be there, and you want to give your office hours a unique um, name, okay? Um, because this is how students are going to find it. All right. And so it takes out spaces when you make the Google Meet. So mine is just Trammel SS, Trammel Social Studies. Um, if this was my science class, obviously Trammel Science or something along those lines. Um, make it unique. Please don't just make it your subject because someone else in Fort Worth ISD names theirs science and they happen to be on the same time as yours. Some people can end up in other um, uh, meeting. Okay. And the, the link you wanna add, and this is very important, is meet.google.com. Do not put the www, please, okay? And I've already got that set up there, okay? Save that. So now when the students log in, they're gonna see this, say, okay, they've got office hours from 10 to 11, two to three, I go to Google Meet, I type in Trammel SS, or something along those lines, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like on a student's end. OK, so they're going to sign in with their Microsoft. That's the big thing. They're going to have to be signed in. OK, um, I've got a dummy student that I'm able to. They're not really a dummy. It's just a, an account. OK, so when they go to their Google Classroom. They're going to see this classroom right here. OK, so they click on there. Now, this is really cool. This is uh, something that they've just unveiled. So they cannot start a meeting, okay? They try to use the meeting code, let's say they do Trammel SS. Now look down at the bottom right-hand corner, you are not allowed to start a meeting. So if they try to access this before you're online or before you've even started it, they will not be able to get in there. So I'm gonna go back to my account over here, I'm gonna click, I'm going to start a meeting, no links or anything like that. Now this is important. You're gonna to have to type in the same nickname that you've been using the whole time. So mine was Trammel SS. It's gonna ask me to create it, okay? So I join now. Okay, so now what I would do is on Tuesdays at 10 and Thursdays at 10, I'm going to click, golly, that is big. Uh, I'll change that anyways. Um, Make sure I click on there at 10 to 11. Now you may be sitting there by yourself. You can just minimize this if you need to, okay? You can just minimize it, be good to go, okay? So now let me show you what it looks like on the student side. Remember previously we typed Trammel SS and they weren't able to do anything. Now when they do that, so now my old student, I'm a Leo over here, if you see the A, Trammel SS, continue. Now they're actually able to start it, okay? They can join now. This is gonna be Inception. There's gonna be so many different ones going on over here. And you can see all the different people that are in the meeting. You can chat just like we've done in regular Google Meets, okay? Now, here's the one caveat on it. Um, you have to wait for everyone to leave before you can uh, close that classroom out, okay? So if I, the teacher, actually hung up right now, Ali and the other students would be able to stay in there. That's not our doing, that's a Google doing. So please make sure you wait until they leave. So am I my student right now? So uh, I've helped Aaliyah do everything that she needs to do. So I'm gonna hover down here, end, she's good. Now I'm gonna go back to mine. All my students are out, I end it, I'm good to go, okay? And so then on Wednesday, I'll do the exact same thing. Go to meet.google.com and I type in Trammel SS and I start the meeting.
Okay, so the one caveat, remember, wait until they all leave and then you can end the meeting, okay? Make sure you use the same nickname at all times. And also some things that we're running into is teachers are offering um, office hours and they are not actually being in the meeting. Now you may be sitting there for an hour, but you can always minimize it. Just have your volume up so that when they do enter, they can ask you a question, okay? And just like we tell the students, make sure you dress appropriately. Everything in the background is good to go. And you may want to make sure pets or anything are out of the room because it can get a little distracting. I really hope that was helpful. Um, that was real quick, um, but please email me if you have any questions. Thank you.